Hello, in this BSNES HD video, I'm going to show you how to connect up a Xbox controller to your machine. So my door has just started to open. I'm going to give it a shut down. Boom. Okay. We're back. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to connect up an Xbox controller to your BSNES HD emulator, which allows you to play SNES games in HD and on Windows. I'll do this for Mac and Linux as well, don't worry. Okay, so first of all, let me cover the, the different Xbox controllers. If you have an Xbox 360 wired controller, then, you know, like this where the wire is hard in there, plug and play, nothing else to do. Any drivers will install automatically. If you have a wireless controller, even if you have Bluetooth on your computer, which you probably do, you can't, you know, use the Bluetooth and you can't just use this charger cable. It only transfers power, not data. So what you'll need is a dongle. You may already have one if you do, great. And you plug one of these in, press, it can be the gray or the white one, don't, doesn't matter. You just press the button and then on your controller, press the sync button for, a, for like a few seconds right there. And it'll start flashing and it'll sync up like you're syncing it to a 360. So that's Xbox 360. For Xbox One, if you have a wired controller, fine, it'll work to plug and play. If you have a wireless and you plug in a micro USB cable and the other end into your computer, that also acts as a wired one, that's fine. For wireless, depends on which one you have. Because the older ones don't have Bluetooth, they have a proprietary wireless technology. So, I'll provide a link to this website. This will show you how to identify what type of you know, controller you've got. If you've got an older one, then you will need a dongle if you want to go wireless. It's just the way it is. And this is not the same as the 360 dongle, unfortunately. So if you have a 360 controller and an Xbox One controller, and you want to use both of them wirelessly, and you see the older Xbox One, you need two different dongles. And just get one of these dongles, and you just plug it in, press the sync button, press the sync button here for a few seconds. This will sort of start flashing, and it will sync up. If you have a newer Xbox One controller, Wired still works normally, but with this, you can actually sync this up to your Bluetooth and you just press this button and go into your Bluetooth settings and go to, you know, search mode and locate the Xbox wireless controller, which I'll show you in a second. If you have an Xbox series controller, you just either plug in a USB-C cable and the other end into your computer and you're all good to go for wired or for wireless. They all have Bluetooth, the Xbox series controllers, which is fantastic. You just keep this button pressed and go into your Bluetooth setting, which we're gonna do right now. Okay, so let's go into Bluetooth. And this is the same for the free six, I mean the Xbox One Bluetooth wireless controller as well. Go to add Bluetooth or other device, go to Bluetooth, or you can go to the older menu, devices and printers, and go to add a device. So I use the older one, if the newer one doesn't work, I find with Xbox controllers it works fine. But some other controllers I found, especially like Switch or maybe Wii controllers, I've had issues, so I'll you know fall back to the you know older menu. Just a little tip for you. So go to here. Before we click Bluetooth, let's put this into pairing mode. So to do that, you keep the sync button pressed for a few seconds, and this will start flashing pretty fast. So let me do it. Boom, flashing. Go to Bluetooth. Select Xbox wireless controller. This will go solid. Boom, done. And now this is just an extra step, but this is optional, but I recommend it. Just search for game. Go to set up USB game controllers. Select this, go to properties. If you, if you already named something else, doesn't matter. As long as when you move the analog sticks and the buttons, it detects movement. And that's it, we're good to go. Now, the regardless of what controller you've connected, wired, wireless, 361 series, you can actually just open up. Uh, I open up Sublime, did not want to do that. You can just open up the BSNES HD emulator. And let's open this up. Let's go to settings, input, and in here, let's map the controls. So it's Choose which one you want, control port one or two. Obviously you go to input. And for device, you just go to gamepad. And here we go. So you can do it for mapping one, two, three, or four. So you could have a keyboard mapping, which is nice, but then you could have a gamepad mapping as well. I really do like that. 
So it's kind of like profiles, but ones that can be active at the same time, which is pretty cool. So let me just map it, you know, for map one. If I double click that, if I press up and down, left, right, and for A and B, B, M, Y, X, L. You can use the other triggers if you really want to select and start. So you can, because we've got two analog sticks, you can use them for the D-pad or for the turbo buttons as well. So feel free to do that. That's it, you're done. Click X. I'll launch a recent game, which is Super Mario World. Do, 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 do. And look, it worked fine. Do, 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 Okay, and that's it. So let me have a quick go. I died. Epic fail. <laughs> oh, I shut the game down now. Okay, so that is it. That's how you connect an Xbox controller. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, join the Discord group, help us out. And I will see you in the next video on how to connect up a PS4 controller, which I'm gonna record right now. And that'll be uploaded later today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.